You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The United Nations Ambassador and a permanent representative to Cambodia, Aung Sok Kun, responded to the US permanent representative to United Nations on the 49th session of the Human Rights Council, saying that the US should respect the autonomy of independent countries and not weaponize human rights with double standards. The Cambodian permanent representative reminded the US delegation to heed UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres call for human rights not to be used as a weapon. If all parties want to maintain the highest integrity and credibility of Human Rights Council, every country has a right to choose its own future and its past, he said, quoting US Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Cambodia's response comes after the US Ambassador to the United Nations, Michelle Taylor, expressed concern over the closure of political rights, the right to protest and the arrest and detention of dissents of some of the countries, including Cambodia. The Cambodian representative, An Sakun, stated in his response to the United States' use of human rights issues as weapons attacked and served the political agenda was well known to many delegates at the Human Rights Council. He further rejected the allegations made by the United States, saying that there was no biased law enforced in Cambodia and that the space for civil society rights was respected by the real government. He said if the civil society freedom was restrictive, why does the number of registered NGOs keep rising to nearly 6,000? The fact is that the grievances come from a handful of heavy politicised and foreign-funded NGOs demanding transparency but refusing to prove themselves transparent. He urged the United States to adjust its own respect for human rights rather than just look at the problems of others, as it is internal obligations remain unresolved. The Cambodian permanent representative said, Sadly, this country has for years encountered sympathetic human rights messes, including double standards and hypocrites, In 2001, more than 700 people who had dissenting voice were arrested and charged with crimes after dissenting on U.S. capital. In the same year, more than 50 journalists were arrested and detained across the U.S. Social media accounts of the former president with just opposing view were banned. 